Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about all of the books that I plan on reading in the month of February. If you don't know how I do my TBRs each month, I do have a roll the dice game that helps me kind of select some books to add to my TBR in a more randomized way. This just helps me kind of pick up books that maybe I've been putting off for too long and it helps me get to them quicker. So before I get into the roll the dice portion of this TBR video, I am going to talk about some changes I'm making to my monthly TBRs, which is just I'm not going to leave all of the books up to chance anymore. I am going to select five books for myself that I'm really excited about getting to and that I own already so that I'm making sure to read the ones that I'm really really excited about but also having still that roll the dice random component to make sure I'm getting to books on my backlist as well. So the five books that I'm going to be reading this month that I'm not going to leave up to chance are going to be three romance books which is not my typical genre. I usually don't read romance. I've read a couple in the past and I've really enjoyed some, uh, but I figured with Valentine's Day this month, I wanted to do a special reading challenge video, reading three of like the most hyped romance books that I've seen recently. So those include People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I really enjoyed Beach Read by this author. So I've heard that some people love this one even more and it's just so hyped. So excited to get to this one. For that video, I'll also be reading Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This is very much outside my comfort zone. I've not read any books from this author before. I've just seen this book everywhere. It's every everywhere. Have you seen this book everywhere? I've seen this book everywhere and I don't, I'm not even like a romance reader and I've seen this book everywhere. So I'm very curious. I know that it's a more modern retelling of the Hades and Persephone myth, which I mean, sounds great. So I've seen really mixed reviews though. So we'll see. And then like the most hyped romance book from like the past six months. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Yep. I feel like if I'm gonna read hyped romance books, how could I not pick this one up? Everyone, has been talking about it. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I've seen people on both ends of the spectrum. Um, I, it's very funny seeing people rant about this book, but then it's very fun seeing people rave about this book. So I have no idea where I'm gonna fall. I know that this started out as like a Raylo fan fiction and has kind of developed into its own thing and it's now just taken the internet by storm. So. These will be the three books I'll be reading for that hyped romance challenge video. I also want to make sure I'm keeping up with my series that I've started and need to either catch up on or complete. So the one that I feel like I need to read sooner rather than later, which is why I wanted to make sure it's on this TBR, is The Spider by Leo Carew. I know that the third and final book in this trilogy comes out this summer, and this first book I read last summer. So I feel like if I don't read it soon, it's gonna be too long since the last book and I'm gonna have to reread it and I don't wanna do that. So I need to get to this for sure and I'm very excited to continue on. The Wolf, the first book, is one of Leanna from Leanna's Library's favorite books of all time. So I read it and I actually really enjoyed it. I know some other people didn't love it, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well written and the politics was fascinating and I just, I loved it. So I'm really excited to continue on with the series. And then finally, one of my other goals from the beginning of this year was to make sure to read my most anticipated releases of the year. And one of those that's one of the most highly anticipated for me is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this cover is? Uh, I have been so excited to get to this book. It sounded beautiful. It sounds like it's going to be very magical and whimsical. And I've heard it's kind of a bridge between YA and adult. I think some people are shelving it as YA, but the author has said that it can be considered kind of both or kind of leaning older YA. I'm really curious to, to check this out. I just think it sounds amazing. So yes, this is definitely, definitely on this month's TBR. So those are the five books that I know I want to read this month and won't leave up to chance. So 
I'm very excited about all of these. I do have one more book to read for my secret video that will be coming, yay, this month, finally. I've been teasing that for like a month now and people are probably like, where the heck is the secret video that you keep teasing? Uh, I promise it's coming. I just had to read a lot of books for it and they were some chunky books. So it's coming this month. I'm so excited. I just have one more book. So don't wanna spoil that. You'll know soon enough. All right, so now let's get into the Roll the Dice. Just a quick update from last month's Roll the Dice game. The only book that I wasn't able to get to from last month was A Dark Queen Rises by Ashok K. Banker. Ran out of time, especially with all of those like secret books I've had to read. This will be added back to the whiteboard for this month's TBR game. So let's go ahead and start rolling the dice. I'm very excited because some of these have been on my TBR for so long and I've been wanting to get to them. So now this is the month, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see how much reading I can actually get done. So let's start with some sequels. The first is The Defiant Air by Melissa Co... Co... I always mess up the last name, I'm so sorry. Caruso, Caruso. So this was the sequel to The Tethered Mage, which I read in December. Yes, in December. So it hasn't been too long. I feel like it's very fresh in my mind and I'm really excited to continue on. It was a really fun, easy to read fantasy story that had a really unique magic aspect to it. I really liked it. So really excited to continue on with this. And then we have The Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett, which is the second book in the Discworld Death Collection. I read Mort last year and I enjoyed it. I didn't love it as much as I thought I would uh, because the plot itself like wasn't my favorite, but I really liked Terry Pratchett's humor and the writing style and death as a character I thought was fantastic. So I'm excited to continue on with the series because I've heard that he gets better and better as he continues to write in this Discworld universe. So Reaper Man will be next. Then we have a horror book, which will be nice to kind of break up all the fantasy in this month's TBR. And that is Salem's Lot by Stephen King, which I believe is a vampire novel, which will be very interesting. I know this was one of his um, earlier works, so I'll be curious to check it out. I really love Carrie and the Shining, so maybe Salem's Lot in this collection will also be a hit for me. And then two more fantasy books. We have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I have not read this. <laughs> it has been on my shelf for way too long now. I need to read it. I really enjoyed An Enchantment of Ravens, and I've heard that if you enjoyed An Enchantment of Ravens, you won't like Sorcery of Thorns as much, and if you enjoyed Sorcery of Thorns, you won't like An Enchantment of Ravens. So that does not bode well for me, but let's hope that I end up really enjoying this and break that pattern because I've heard some good things and I'm really excited for a magical library. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And then we've got the final book, which is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, which has one of the most beautiful covers ever. I love this cover so much. Um, I think that this is perfect time to pick up this book. It feels like this is a very wintry book. We're still in the dead of winter where I live, so I just feel like this is gonna be so atmospheric. I actually liked Uprooted. I didn't love it, but I did like it, and I've heard Spinning Silver improves upon Uprooted in almost every way. Like, everyone seems to love Spinning Silver a lot more, so I feel like this is gonna be a five-star book. I just have a feeling that I'm going to adore this, so I can't wait to get to it. All right, so here is the TBR. It looks really big, but a lot of these books I feel like are gonna be quicker reads. Uh, so we'll see. 
you know, we'll see how much reading I can actually get done. Again, I don't usually plan on reading every single book on my TBRs. It just allows for some mood reading and hopefully get as much of this read as I can. Okay, that hurts my arms. What book are you all most excited to read in the month of February? And did you see any that I'm reading that you have read before? And what did you think of them? Leave those comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Thank you.